In the temptation of Jesus, Satan was trying to tempt Jesus in three areas, appetite, presumption, and idolatry. Christians or people of faith are most susceptible to presumption. That's because presumption appears to be faith, but in reality is not faith. Faith always attempts to obey God, so it puts God first. Presumption does the opposite. Presumption puts what we want first, and then it expects God to approve of it. The first instance of presumption in the Bible is found in Genesis, where Cain offers the produce of the land, and his offering was flatly rejected by God. Cain wanted to do his own thing and expected God to approve of what he wanted to do instead of following the clear instructions of God. In other words, the religion of Cain is the religion of presumption. The religion of Cain does not follow God, it follows self, and it follows carnal desires and expects God to rubber stamp those decisions. Cain's presumption eventually led to his brother's murder. There are two passages in the Bible that really stand out and explain the sin of presumption. The first story is found in Numbers chapter 20, and this is the story of Moses striking the rock twice after God had told Moses to speak to the rock to give water to the Israelites. In verse 12 of that passage, the Lord said to Moses, Because you did not trust in me enough to honor me as holy in the sight of the Israelites, you will not bring this community into the land I give them. So according to verse 12, lack of trust led to Moses' presumption. And then the other story is found in 1 Samuel 15, where the Lord, through the prophet Samuel, tells King Saul to go ahead and punish all the Amalekites by killing everyone in sight and not sparing anything. In verse 11 of Samuel 15, the Bible says, I regret that I have made Saul king because he has turned away from me and has not carried out my instructions. Saul, the king Saul, understood and knew God's instructions, but he went and did his own thing. The Bible says in verse 9, But Saul and the army spared Agag and the best of the sheep and cattle and fat calves and lambs, everything that was good. These they were unwilling to destroy completely. All the good things that their enemies had they wanted to keep for themselves and with the excuse that oh they would they would offer some of it as a sacrifice to god the book of john chapter 16 jesus tells his disciples people will kill them and think they're offering a service to god presumption can lead to religious extremism which leads to murder it is because they do not know god or his character and that's why they do what they do in the history of the world the most guilty of these types of crimes are religious fanatics okay but there is a story that i really think hones in on this idea of presumption going too far Book of John chapter 8 and the verses, verses 1 through 11 is a story of the woman caught in adultery. In that story, the Pharisees come to Jesus and bring a woman who was caught in the act of adultery. And they present Jesus with the option. Jesus, the law of Moses, it says we should stone such women. What do you say? And Jesus doesn't respond to them because he knows their hypocrisy. He bends down and he begins to write on the ground. And then they keep pressing him for an answer. And Jesus looks up and says, he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone at her. And then the Bible says that one by one from the oldest to the youngest began to leave the scene. And in the end, the woman stands there in front of Jesus by herself. And then Jesus asked the woman, where are your accusers? The woman said, no, no one has accused me. And then Jesus says, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. So the people who brought this woman were not pagans. They were not secular people. They were religious people. These were the pious people. These, these were the people. They were the most strict in supposedly following religion. And they brought this woman and wanted to commit an act of murder. Only a religious fanatic would do this and think he is doing the right thing. Why? Because he thinks he's acting in faith when in reality he's acting in presumption he's on the side of satan satan is moving on him to do this but in his mind he's thinking he's acting in faith 